Good morning, everybody. Afternoon, evening, whatever time of day it is that you are watching this. Um, I am so excited to share with you guys about enrollments because really, let's be real, this is like the IPA. Enrolling people, getting that bonus and all of that, that's when the rubber meets the road, right? So it's Monday, we're talking about enrollments. All nine of us talk about a little bit different things um, regarding enrollments, education, all of this, and exposure. Today, as I was thinking about it and praying through what should I share with you guys, it occurred to me um, about 50% of my personally enrolled people are all done virtually. It's all done, I've got family in um, California, friends in Idaho and in Washington, um, friends on the East Coast. So a lot of my enrollments have been done texting. So what I wanted to share with you guys today, just a couple quick tips about how to do it, number one, efficiently, um, and then how to do it in a way that will look professional, um, if that makes sense. So let's talk about enrollments, virtual edition. Here's the deal. And well, on the other side of it is I'll, I'll kind of back up a bit. I have those five kids I mentioned last time I was on. And so here's me, I'm always running around with them. And if I'm at the park or if I'm at the gym and someone's like, oh yeah, can you send me your link or your, how do I sign up? I'm like trying to manage people walking through the parking lot. Hang on, give me your number. Let me text you my link and then we'll catch up. So that's how I do it. Here's the secret though, guys. You have to have a link ready. You have to do that so that when that situation comes up, you're ready in advance. Be prepared in advance to do the things that you're ready to step into, okay? So let's think about it. It's kind of like I mentioned with exposure. Be prepared with your samples. Be prepared that someone's gonna say, oh yeah, I wanna sign up. So there's two ways you can sign up. The first one, or make a link rather. The first one is actually my favorite. Um, it's Oily Tools, a little shout out to Jake Dempsey. Um, if you do not have Oily Tools, that's okay guys. I got you, hang on, hang tight with me. Um, Oily Tools is a, it's just awesome. Um, it's a way to keep track of your business, your numbers. There's all kinds of things that I probably haven't even utilized the whole thing, but one of my favorite things about it is it has an automatic link builder in there. It copies it to your clipboard. You can click it and send it to whoever. That's super easy. It auto populates your member number, which is delightful. Um, and you can do that real, real quick. The other way, if you don't have the Oily Tools app, Totally cool if you don't, um, your own free virtual office. So hang on, I'm gonna flip this around. So I just wanna show you really quick, guys, this is super, super easy. Member resources, okay, scroll down, link builder. Ta-da, look, it auto-populates to your member number right here, um, sponsor ID, all that. If you wanna change these, that's cool too. If you're trying to help somebody out, whatever, change it. So that is super, super simple. Um, for those of you guys who are on here like, uh, yeah, duh, that's cool, I'm so glad for you, but here's me. I think I was gold before I knew that was a thing. So maybe some of you guys in here are like, oh my God, that was genius, you are welcome. So that's the thing, Oily Tools Link Builder or Virtual Office Link Builder. Um, just a, a little quick tip though on doing your link builders. Guys, here's the deal. The other thing with our businesses Many of us are now getting millennials in. Many of you guys are millennials watching this going, Jen, where you best keep it to five minutes or I'm gonna hit end. I got you guys. The thing with millennials, guys, is what you wanna know is, number one, they spend about three to $500 every month on personal self-care, on supplements, on gym memberships, on um, nails and all this stuff. You would be wise to get them on your team. The other thing with our sweet millennial friends is that they like things short and sweet and simple. Okay, so when you text them this big link and it's got this amount of text to it, that's, they're gonna be like, oh gosh, that looks like a lot of stuff. My phone will automatically make it Young Living. I don't know about all those Android people. Sometimes it makes it jumbly. If this is not making sense to you guys, that's because your phone automatically makes it to the website. It doesn't show this big chunk. But if, if that's making sense to you, then just shorten it, go to a link shortener, whatever, okay? Um, the other thing is, is no matter who you're talking to, millennials, Gen Xers, whatever, it doesn't matter, um, make sure you have it at the ready. So what I want you to do, this is gonna be your homework for today. What I want you to do is go on either your Oily Tools app or your, in your virtual office in your VO and make yourself a link. Then 
I want you to go to your notes, whether it's Evernote, if you're super cool like that and you've downloaded that app, um, go to your Evernotes and keep it in a file there. Um, for me, I just use the notes that um, my iPhone has given me, so I just pop it in there. That way I always have my link just at the ready. So if I'm talking to somebody, I'm walking through the parking lot, I can literally flip through with one thumb and I can click on that and say, okay, copy paste, give me your number, here's my link, boom, done. It like takes two minutes. You don't want to be scrolling through and doing that. Um, the last tip I'm going to give you guys for when you sign up people, when you enroll virtually, is follow up, follow up, follow up. Did you hear me? what I say? Remember we talked about listening? Follow up. God gave us two ears, one mouth. Listen, follow up, guys. This is so critical when you're signing somebody up online. Why? Because you do the link, they sign up, they get their starter kit, and then what? They haven't been to a class, they don't know anything. You guys have got to follow up. This is even more crucial than somebody who just comes to your class that you see all the time, because you see them all the time. This is something I learned the hard way. I'm just gonna be straight up with you guys. There's, it just happens, right? I just assume you're gonna sign up, you're just gonna keep going. Yeah, no, this, these are the people that you wanna keep, like do a little tipsy Tuesday text. Thank you, Melissa Sanchez, for that brilliance that she taught me about a year and a half ago. Um, a wellness text, whatever. Most of these people who are signing up online through their phone are not reading their emails. So here's me, don't even bother sending them an email. It's a waste of your time, you're just gonna be frustrated. Text them, call them. Here's one that will rock their world. Are you ready for this? Snail mail. When you enroll somebody online, blow their mind and send them something through the mail. Oh my word. This, my friends will be like, oh my gosh, you sent me something. Yeah, I did. I thought of you. You're welcome. But it reminds them to, they have to open it. They look through them, they go, oh, I gotta get my starter kit. That's right, that just came. Time it in a way that they should have just gotten their starter kit. Um, on the flip side, you know, just make sure you're following up. Hey, did you get that package? This actually happened to me recently. Um, I sent a sweet girl. She hadn't ordered in a while, and I thought, oh, she just had a baby. I'm going to send her some gentle baby and then just a couple of little seedling things. Um, I hadn't heard from her. And so I followed up with her. She's like, oh, my word, I'm sorry, mom brain, new baby. Uh, yes, I got it. Thank you. So I just want to know, did you get it? Because I don't want to just leave in obscurity. And so we got to chatting about what was in there. Did she like it? Did the baby like it? So follow-up is key, guys. When you're enrolling members virtually, the virtual edition, You've got to follow up. Know how to do your link, make it short and sweet, keep it simple, have it at the ready on your phone, guys. Let me just see. Oh, the last thing. Um, I got my notes because, you know, I get a little sidebar. Lindsay Teague Moreno, if you guys haven't ever read that book, Getting Noticed About, you know, Growing Your Business Online, it, it really speaks to a lot of this because most of us, we're in a virtual age, guys. This is a, to quote Madonna, uh, you know, a virtual world, a material world, and I'm a virtual girl, right? That's just how it is. And so we have to remember this is how people are thinking. Um, one of the things that she says in there that I love is don't say in 300 words where 30 will do. Guys, when you're following up, please don't send a book. Just a quick couple sound bites. That's how most of us think. The average human brain now, the attention span, this is super sad, but this is reality, is six seconds or eight seconds, I think. Right now, you guys have already tuned me out about 10 times. But the cool thing is you come back. And so when you are following up with your online enrollments, send them quick sound bites. Help them learn as they go. Just make sure I got all my things. Yep, okay, so your homework today is make a link, whether it's in Oily Tools or whether it's in your virtual office. Keep it in a folder on your phone, and I'm gonna double dog dare you today to go and send someone that link and just see if you've never done it, it's so fun. And be like, hey, did you check out my link? Did you do that? There you go, and that way they can see what kind of products they can get, whatever. All right, guys, I hope you have an amazing week. It's the last week of the month. You guys take all these IPAs that everyone has poured into for the last three weeks. This is week four. Go get it. Make it your best month ever. Take care, guys. We'll see you soon.